Welcome to the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report, hosted by Craig Dawson, Vice President, Soul Pit Media. Hello, and welcome to the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report. Today, we are joined by Dr. Stephen Evans. Dr. Evans is the Director of the Division of Community Engagement, Division of Surgery, University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine. Dr. Evans, thank you so much for being with us today on the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report. Thank you so much for having me. Dr. Evans, you are a man that wears many hats. What is a typical day like for you? Well, Craig, I just want to tell you there is no typical day for a physician and or surgeon like myself that as you introduced me with that introduction confirms that I wear many hats. And so today, uh, wearing the hat of the Director of Community Engagement and partnering with our Division for Diversity and Inclusion, we all committed to memorialize George Floyd today with white coats against racism, kneeling together for nine minutes and 29 seconds. I didn't know how that experience would impact me today as a surgeon, caring, being a Black man and a surgeon, seeing uh, the impact of George Floyd's death on the entire nation and the world at large. After that nine minute and 29 second experience, I stood numbed by that experience. Yet through it all, a song swelled within me that yes, we shall overcome. So I have vision and I have a hope for a future. And as leader of the in the Department of Surgery at the University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine and the Division of Surgical Oncology as clinical professor of surgery, it is my hope that I can lead a new generation of young-minded individuals, medical students, residents, and my colleagues and faculty alike so that we can embrace a future that looks different from our present day because it is our overarching intention and goal to have our institution mirror the ethnic and cultural diversity of the communities we serve and to render the highest quality of care to everyone, regardless of race, ethnicity, gender, and cultural identity. That is very commendable, doctor. Uh, Growing up, did you always envision yourself as a physician? Well, just imagine, I am a product of my parents, Tinky and Marion Evans. They were born in 1920 and grew up in the Jim Crow South, confronted with drinking from fountains that said for colored only, and had third and sixth grade education. So through that legacy, they allowed me to be mentored by great many host of people. So there's great truth to the saying that says that it takes a village. And through my mentoring experiences and education, having grown up in poverty and the projects of New York, I, in this present role, want to, in like fashion, inspire young students and our trainees to commit to a life of community service and to imagine a world and an experience that is different that they may presently have. Now, that is truly a testament to it's not where you start out, it's where you end up. It's an old saying, but it's a very true saying, doctor, and you are living proof of that. Could you explain a little bit about one of your hats, and that is working in the oncology department, and with that being one of our main illnesses as Black people, you know, could you let our listeners know why it's so important to know the signs or know your body so that you can catch cancer at its earliest stages? Absolutely, and thank you for that question. Just look at what COVID-19 and this pandemic has done. In 2020, we all had to come to terms with a a new reality and a 
a new existence, one that was filled with a great uncertainty, fear of death, um, co uh, contracted COVID-19, and having to come up with a whole tool and for precautions and staying safe, wearing masks and social distancing and washing our hands carefully. And through the pandemic, cancer still exists. And so through that experience that continues to evolve and emerge, we had to pause and find ways that people could come in to our institution safely and to receive the appropriate screening that is necessary for early detection and prevention. So just like the pandemic has uncovered and placed a spotlight on the disparities that affect communities of color, Black and brown communities are disproportionately affected with greater mortality and death rate due to cancer, specifically even breast cancer. We don't have the answers to that. And so why do black women die at a 40% higher rate with the diagnosis of breast cancer? And why does colon cancer affect our youth and our young black men and women alike at an earlier age? And it goes on and on. Any cancer you name, you will identify and note that African Americans disproportionately are adversely affected and have poor outcomes. So, but we also know that race is not a genetic factor. So what we've come to learn and we have to do more research on is how, where we live, play, worship, and spend our, most of our time really impacts our outcomes. And these are called social determinants. And that's where we are going to in place our research efforts going forward. And that's what we realize with this pandemic, that those same factors impact the outcomes of people affected by even COVID-19 because Blacks have been hospitalized at twice and three times higher rate than their white counterpart all across the country. So we have a lot of opportunities to explore these questions and concerns. So yes, it's vitally important for us to know our bodies and know that when things change so that we can call those persons that we trust in medicine so that we can take action and live a long life. Now, Dr. Evans, what are some of the biggest myths in our community concerning cancer? I have heard over and over again about the myth of the fact that if you have an operation on a cancer and the air getting exposing our cancers to air causes spread and a whole host of even nutritional supplements that, and environmental factors that can expedite and cause cancer. And really, the truth is that a cancer is just a cell that has lost its ability to stop dividing and grow and grow and grow and in turn becomes a tumor. And so, yes, some factors may cause cancers to grow faster than others, like smoking, being overweight, and not exercising. And even genetics may play a role, but a very small role. Many people will be surprised about that. Dr. Evans, as I've gotten to know you, I find you to be a person of great moral and spiritual conviction. Does that play a role with you consistently reaching out to the underserved in our community? Well, I'll tell you this. I grew up with a praying mother as I started the conversation. And that has been the backbone and the foundation that I continue to build upon through my formative years and even now. Without prayer, as not only as a people, we would not have been able to overcome many of the hardships that have come our way. And even in my personal life, without having that foundation, of faith and prayer and a belief system in someone greater than myself, who I will choose to call God, and because that's my personal belief, that has made all the difference in the world in my ability to not only contend with my personal wife going through MS for 15 years and my wife subsequently even losing her own battle to colon cancer, despite the fact that she was a physician and had all the wherewithal and access to screening and education and early detection and prevention. So yes, I am a man of great religious conviction and I continue to go forward with hope and promise of each new day because of that faith.
We'll be right back with the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report. The Port Authority of Allegheny County is hiring. If you're looking for a long-term career, competitive wages, great benefits, and desire an opportunity where very few days are the same, check out the opportunities at portauthority.org. We are driven to improve transit in the region. That's portauthority.org. We do all we can to ensure our kids are happy, healthy, safe, and strong. Having high-quality, low-cost health insurance helps make that possible. With CHIP, your child can have medical, dental, eye care, and more for free or low cost. Whether you're self-employed, unemployed, or your employee benefits are just too expensive, CHIP is there for you to help your child be strong. CHIP Strong. Apply or renew today at 800-986-KIDS or go to chipcoverspakids.com. Paid for with Pennsylvania taxpayer dollars. Looking for cost-effective way to increase your company's bottom line? Look no further than Soul Pit Media. With our award-winning print, internet, podcast, or Soul Pit TV options, we can help your business get to that next level. For more information, call 412-407-7685. That's 412-407-7685. The future of transit is now, and we are working to improve your ride. Look for bus tracking technologies and other innovations to keep you better informed. Getting around town has never been so easy. PortAuthority.org Brain tumor. Words no one wants to hear. But imagine if we could see invisible pathways to recover lost functions. And brain surgery was so precise, it would leave no trace. You don't have to imagine it. The neurological treatments that will travel the world tomorrow are happening today at UPMC. Discover the future of neurological care at upmc.com forward slash happening today. UPMC, life-changing medicine. We're back with the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report. Well, you know, Dr. Evans, that really hit home with me. This recent pandemic has at first affected our community like nothing I've ever seen in my lifetime. My own sister died of COVID-19, and you have been at the forefront of getting our community vaccinated. Can you talk a little bit about those efforts? Yes, and thank you for sharing your journey about your sister being infected with COVID-19 and succumbing to that deadly virus. And because of how COVID-19 impacts our families, our loved ones, as an institution, seeing the disparities that exist in our communities felt a need to be intentional about partnering with our communities of color, our under-resourced communities, so that we as an institution called UPMC can truly say that we were intentional about building health equity in the underserved community around us. And how did we do that? We started in partnership and said yes when we were asked by Bethany Community Ministries in March 10th on a short notice to provide vaccine 500 people in the Homewood community. Everyone had thought that there would be great hesitancy. That's what the storyline was on our news and all around us. Blacks are hesitant because of the Tuskegee experiments, etc., to have the vaccine. But let me tell you something, Craig. On that day, I I was privileged to see our communities, the most our senior citizens coming out with joy and excitement and a pep in their step, excited because it was the first time in an over a year that they had been able to come out of their homes. And instead of 500 persons being vaccinated that day, we vaccinated 600 persons, our most vulnerable citizens. And it didn't stop there. We partnered with Home in Wilkinsburg with the Wilkinsburg Sanctuary Project and vaccinated a thousand. And then we carried it even further to the Pittsburgh mills and reaching our more rural communities and vaccinated 6,000. And we continue to do the same thing, providing and bringing the vaccines where it's needed most. And right now we're even bringing it to the patient's homes, people who are homebound, and we're looking for other opportunities so that everyone can get vaccinated because without everyone getting vaccinated, we cannot achieve our full life and the revitalization that we all hoped and dreamed for. Well, you led me right to my next question. How has UPMC supported you in your efforts? Could you expound on that just a little more? Because we as a community need to know who is supporting our community. 
Absolutely. Well, just as you've seen and over the news that not only the black and brown communities are adversely been affected, but we've we established a committee specifically to investigate and explore opportunities to serve underserved communities and find opportunities for collaboration. And we'll be going forward with that as we have even June 5th. We will plan to be in the Braddock community to provide vaccines. And we've been in Sheridan. And the list goes on in serving our populations of people who are immigrants and feel marginalized and even looking toward opportunities to vaccinate our homeless and people who live under bridges. And the list continues to go on. But these are our intentional effort to expand and bring our medical students and residents and faculty along because it is only this is what leadership looks like. This is what social responsibility looks like as surgeons. And through these experiences, we learn that we not only can serve our communities that surround us, but actually serve globally. And who knows, become missionary surgeons and the like. So we can only imagine what the future holds if we continue to connect to the purpose that just sits before us and respond to these defining moments. Well, you know, Dr. Evans, I really appreciate you expounding on that because I had an old coach who told me one time, doctor, that it's not what you say as far as playing a good game. It's who's actually playing a good game. And it's very important to know that, you know, everybody talks about what they're going to do, but UPMC is out there on the front line, you know, helping to make sure that our community has an opportunity to get vaccinated and to make sure that we live a normal life and that we can visit our loved ones and even work in safety. And I, I really appreciate you explaining that. And I have one last question for you because people seem to think that the pandemic is over, that, you know, everything is to go back to normal. But I had a friend who just recently, just this week, died of COVID, you know, and I want people to know how important is it to get vaccinated if you haven't already? Craig, this pandemic is far from over. Yes, we appreciate and are grateful for all those who have gone forward and willingly were vaccine ready and extended their arm to be vaccinated with what we have available to us today. We must continue to in that effort until all of us are vaccinated. And thankfully, we've opened the opportunities for our 12 to 17 year olds to be vaccinated. And before long, two months old to 12 years old will also be able to have that opportunity. So the work remains in front of us. So we have to continue to be responsible and educate, dispel myth, present fact, build bridges of trust, partner with those trusted to communities, community leaders, with faith-based leaders in the communities, or whoever is will listen and help us all together mitigate ill effect of having COVID-19 and succumbing. We do not want to be a statistic that says that we have died because of COVID-19 when there are so many opportunities around us to mitigate that outcome. You know, Dr. Evans, they say that you're never too old to have a hero. And I'm not going to say how old I am, but I will say that you are genuinely one of my heroes. And I appreciate so much what not only you, but UPMC is doing in our community. And I want to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to be on the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report to not only help dispel some of the myths that are going through our community as far as not only just COVID, but cancer. And I'm quite sure there's a lot more that we could say. So I'm going to say right here and now that I'm going to set up a time that we can talk more about cancer and how it affects our community. And I want to say that, honestly, you are a hero of mine. And thank you for your service to our community. Well, Craig, and thank you for your giving me this opportunity and so to, to just tell how much we do care and want our communities to thrive and to live because nobody knows, cares how much we know until they know how much we care. And the only way that's going to happen is that we get out there where the rubber meets the road and connect with all of the trusted leaders and all of the stakeholders so that we can come through this pandemic 
pandemic whole and well again. So thank you for this opportunity, and I look forward to future conversations with you. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule, Dr. Evans, and Godspeed with your efforts. Thank you. We'll be right back with the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report. The Port Authority of Allegheny County is hiring. If you're looking for a long-term career, competitive wages, great benefits, and desire an opportunity where very few days are the same, check out the opportunities at portauthority.org. We are driven to improve transit in the region. That's portauthority.org. We do all we can to ensure our kids are happy, healthy, safe, and strong. Having high-quality, low-cost health insurance helps make that possible. With CHIP, your child can have medical, dental, eye care, and more for free or low cost. Whether you're self-employed, unemployed, or your employee benefits are just too expensive, CHIP is there for you to help your child be strong. CHIP Strong. Apply or renew today at 800-986-KIDS or go to chipcoverspakids.com. Paid for with Pennsylvania taxpayer dollars. Looking for cost-effective way to increase your company's bottom line? Look no further than Soul Pit Media. With our award-winning print, internet, podcast, or Soul Pit TV options, we can help your business get to that next level. For more information, call 412-407-7685. That's 412-407-7685. The future of transit is now, and we are working to improve your ride. Look for bus tracking technologies and other innovations to keep you better informed. Getting around town has never been so easy. PortAuthority.org Brain tumor. Words no one wants to hear. But imagine if we could see invisible pathways to recover lost functions. And brain surgery was so precise, it would leave no trace. You don't have to imagine it. The neurological treatments that will travel the world tomorrow are happening today at UPMC. Discover the future of neurological care at upmc.com forward slash happening today. UPMC, life-changing medicine. We're back with the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report. Hi, this is Debbie Norell, and welcome to the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report Community Calendar. Mount Arid Mill Chorus will host a car wash on Saturday, May 29th from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. The money raised will benefit the scholarship fund for black male youth attending college in 2021 and the 2022 school year. What better way to spend your summer than learning about careers in tech and getting paid to do it? School to Career and Pitt CEC in the Hill have open registration for their School to Tech Careers paid summer program for high school students. Priority is given to Hill District residents. Registrants will need to be in grades 9 through 12 in the fall, a worker's permit, and meet income eligibility in order to participate and receive a stipend. For questions, please call 412-628-1144. Pittsburgh will celebrate Juneteenth and Black Music Month from June 18th until the 27th. Featuring the WPA Juneteenth Freedom Days, Pittsburgh Black Music Festival, Juneteenth Jubilee Parade, and Youth Fest. Join Pittsburgh and Allegheny County on June 18th through the 20th for Juneteenth Freedom Days at Point State Park. This event is a celebration of all cities and boroughs in Allegheny County, featuring Black music genre and youth programs, African-American culture education, food trucks, speakers, and a variety of music showcases. The fifth annual Juneteenth Grand Jubilee Parade will be held on June 26. The parade will go through downtown Pittsburgh from 10 a.m. until 1 p.m. This year's celebration will also include a Black music festival from June 24th through the 27th, including jazz, gospel, R&B, and soul artists at Point State Park. Thank you for listening to the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report, brought to you by Port Authority Employment. Looking for a great job with benefits? Check out their website, portauthority.org, and click on Careers. Thank you for tuning in to the Soul Pit Media Health and Business Report, hosted by Craig Dawson, Vice President, Soul Pit Media. Thank you, Pittsburgh, for your continued support.